Today we're going to do some lat pull exercises. So I have a chair uh, sitting on a box against the, um, the pad here, so it's a little bit on an angle. So I'm going to be slightly tilted back, so I have a lot of weight and support into the back of the chair, and I'll be on a slight angle to work against. And I have a double pulley here, so I'm going to sit. I'm just going to hold on high. So this is going to be kind of an inner range. I'm not going to be reaching up too high. I'm going to be starting from here. And the first thing I want to do is just lean back into that chair and just hang from the weight. I have a light weight on here. And the first thing I'm going to do is move the spine into position. And as I push back, translating my head straight back, pushes down through the thoracic and the shoulders relax. And I'm trying to pull the straight arms so the lats pull down and then the arms will bend and I'll just control it up and rest. So the trick is how to relax the shoulders so the joint almost falls down before you pull. So it's a relaxation to catch that relaxation and pull. I'm going to lean back so I'm in extension here against the chair, pulling down. And then I'll just keep my shoulders down as I go up. If I got to, if I got to control with my shoulders, then I'll be tightening the shoulders. So instead, I just lean back and lift my rib cage, lengthen the spine as I control it up. So now we're going to do the same thing with a little rotation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the, and I'm going to rotate my forearms around each other. So I'm going to try to touch the forearms. So I'll pull down, relax, and then I'll twist. So as you can see, right palm is facing me, the left palm is facing away, so I'm rotating to the left. So my left Internal oblique pulls back. I can feel my right external oblique. And I'm just staying leaning back. And we just can go from side to side. Now I'm going to extend one leg and just go to the right. And if you want to open that elbow, you can go a little further rotation. And then we can alternate almost as if I'm running. Just holding those abs are working, but their spine is staying long. And I'll rest. So relax and catch in those muscles. I call it release and catch, as opposed to catch and release. So now, I'm just going to pull down the weights a little bit, and now we're going to actually use the rectus abdominis to pull forward. So if I'm in the chair and I want to get up, especially on an angle here, I can either just kind of slump forward, or I can arch the back to come up. So right now, since I'm leaning back slightly to overcome gravity, I'm going to hold the belly in deep and think of my chest coming forward. So I'm squeezing the belly from a long position and coming forward instead of trying to bend. So I'll pull the weights down about here. And now I'm just going to sit up a little bit. And every time I go back, I draw the belly in long. That's the hardest part. And now I'll do a little rotation with the twisting of the arms. As if I'm sitting up. Now I'll use the legs to actually help me. So as I draw the belly and it pushes that lumbar back into the chair. So now as I do it, I'm trying to sit up and raise the legs at the same time. I'm going to do an even shorter range in here. And you 
can go from one leg to the other. Many other possibilities, but that's good for today.